Hello there, this is Ashra from Jam Studios and today I want us to draw this um, timber roof truss in AutoCAD. Perfect. So I'll start off by um, drawing one side of this truss and then I'll mirror that side to the other side. As you can see this roof truss is symmetrical. Perfect. So I'll start by drawing this wall down here and on top of the wall I'll put a wall plate. So grab your rectangle tool to draw the wall. I know the wall is uh, 225 to 25 um, by I'll simply define the height graphically. And then I'll draw another rectangle that is uh, 100 by 75 and this will be for my wall plate. And I'll insert these cross lines in here to show that uh, my my wall plate is planed. I'll move the wall plate down there. Perfect. Then I'll need to draw this rafter. So I'll grab my line, uh, come over here to this point, and draw a line at an angle of that. Perfect. Now I need to extend this rafter by a distance uh, so that I can have the eaves. Um, yes, the eaves. Perfect. I need to offset the eaves. So I'll use a distance of let's say 400. So I'll grab my line tool, come over here, snap at the end point, and move this other side and input a distance of 400. Perfect. And this line will symbolize where my eaves have to stop. So I need to extend the, the rafter to this point. So select that line, hit trim and hit shift. Then we'll extend that line to there. Then as you can see the rafter is um, the rafter is 100 by 50, so I'll offset this line by a distance of 50 perfect. Sorry, by a distance of 100 hit enter perfect um, then I'll need to trim this away so then I need to draw this fascia board here I'm not given the dimensions but I'm going to assume so I'll stretch this down there and also stretch this to this position right here and then I'll offset it by a distance of 30 to this other side then I'll need a line to draw that and I also need a line to give it a tapered to give it a tapered end just like that. Snap at the end point and then move. So hit trim and uh, just like that. Perfect. Then I'll need to draw this soffit and then input a button in there. So to draw the soffit, grab your line tool, snap at the end point and then move inwards, then put it there. Then I'll offset this by a distance of 30 downwards. Then I need to draw, I need to draw a button in here. My button is going to be um, 50, it's going to be 50 by 75 hit enter and I get my button right there I need to draw these lines to show that um, this button is plain so select the button and move it right there perfect then I need to draw a, a tie beam so come over here and draw a line just like that then I need to offset this tie beam by a distance of 150 as you can see my tie beam is 150 perfect so select the line and then offset it by a distance of 150 hit enter perfect then you need to trim this so this is my trimming edge and then trim that away then I'll need to get the midpoint of these this span here so that I can get my mirroring line. I'm assuming a span, a total span of 3500 and the midpoint of that is 1750. 
So I'm simply going to draw a line from there. And it will be 1750. Hit enter. Uh, this line wasn't horizontal, so I will redraw the line. 1750. Hit enter. And then perfect. So I'll then trim these other things away. I don't need this line so I can now delete it. I'll remain with this line for the time being because it's my mirror line. So then I need these um, struts in here. So I can now draw a line um, that is at an angle of 60 to the tie beam and that is perpendicular to the rafter. Then as you can see my struts are 100. So I'll need to offset this line this side by 50 and offset it this side by 50. So click offset, then input 50, hit enter, select the object 50, select the object 50, 50, 50. Perfect. Now I need to delete these two lines. I no longer need them. Delete. Then I will trim. Don't need this. I don't need that, I don't need this, and that, and I also trim up here, perfect, then I need to draw some lines in here, just like that, and then I need to put some galvanized steel connectors in here as you can see, so I'll put a connector down here, so grab your rectangle tool, you're not given the dimensions of the connector, so I will assume. So I'm drawing that as my connector. Then I need to draw this same connector up this side. So I will um, copy, copy this um, to here. And then I'll, um, I can also still copy this up here also need the connector up here and then I'll simply need to rotate this so uh, rotate it just like that and I then need to move it so select it same move I'm moving it by the middle point and I'm putting it somewhere there perfect but now as you can see in here these lines are hidden because the steel connector hides them so come over here, modify, break at the point, select the line, break it at that point, then uh, modify, break at the point, this is your line, break it there. Then this line, come over here to properties and say hidden. You can do the same for this section here, and you can also do the same for this section up here. Then I'll need to trim this part of the connector because I'm going to mirror. And I'll get it automatically. Then I also need to trim away um, this section and uh, this section. Uh, then I'll simply delete this. Perfect. Now we need to input a break line down here. So I can come over to Express Tools up here and uh, break line. As you can see my size is 24 that is still small because this wall is 125 so you can increase that size to let's say 50 okay 70 hit enter and then first point second point and the point there and there you get your break line symbol so I'll need to trim go back to your home tab Select trim and trim away that and trim away that. Perfect. Then I'll need to put the hatch in there. So ANSI 32 is for walls. So I'll put the hatch in there. If yours is not visible, you can change the scale over here. Come over here and input. Yours might be not visible. Let me try a scale of 1. Enter. Yours might come out like this. But you can simply increase the scale over here to 12, hit enter. Perfect, and there I have it. Now I'll simply grab everything here and I'll simply mirror it to 
to the other side. Erase source object, no. And there you have a complete um, uh, truss. Perfect. Then you can go over and uh, you can go over and uh, name these parts uh, to your like. Okay, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up to uh, help it uh, grow. Perfect. See you in my next tutorial. I remain Ashraf. Zenon Studio.